it, it comes down to, are you tough? <laughs> because they take so much damage. Oh, his arm broke. He, the game broke. He can't even play. <laughs> the guy kept getting kicked over and over and over and over again because he's trying to get to Taiwan Chai. Boom, breaks his arm. That's game. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. We have some big fights this Friday. Subban taking on Taiwan Chai for the belt. So we're going to break down Taiwan Chai. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live. A little bit something different. Usually, we're breaking down mixed martial arts, which is my favorite. We're going to break down this kickboxing fight. Let's take a looky. Fight! So this fight happened in August 5th, 2023. Breaks homeboy's arm with a body kick. Um, if you guys have heard me break down kickboxing before, it, it comes down to, you know, are you tough? <laughs> because they take so much damage. They take so much damage when they fight that if your body's not durable, it's it's not gonna do very well. You're not gonna fare very well in kickboxing. You could be one of the best kickboxers in the world. If your body can't absor absorb damage, you're basically, you're not going to be good. So, all right. So once again, in kickboxing, uh, they like to stay at the void, at the edge of the void, because, you know, they can't clinch, they can't grapple, they can't do takedowns. So that's what's going on right now. So Taiwan Chai is just trying to, Taiwan Chai is trying to control the distance in the void. Uh, you got Sapa versus Orthodox. Yeah, Sapa versus Orthodox. So, um, yeah. And he keeps on showing that kick and just staying at the outside of the void at the edge of it. But he stays super calm. So watch, he comes right every single time after each exchange. You guys watched my Super Bond breakdown. Only 10,000 of you guys did. Uh, <laughs> so he comes to the edge of this void every single time. Every single time he starts attacking from here. Uh, super Bond, each time he gets done attacking, he always ends with a high kick. So he comes to this edge every single time. He waits here, sees what this opponent's gonna do. I throws a low kick. He hasn't done any much hands. He throws a low kick or he throws this to the body, but this is where uh, Taiwan Chai loves to be. He comes, after a change, he comes right back to the void, edge of the void, every single time. There he waits, push kicks. Kicks, jump does a good job chicken. And this is the hardest thing. This is one of the reasons why when it comes to kickboxing that I love MMA so much because this guy is stuck. He's stuck right here the whole entire time trying to get trying to get the fight going, trying to get to Taiwan Chai, right? That's the one thing that it's very hard in kickboxing. That's why we say MMA is the easiest sport to become world champion is because you can, if he wanted to, he can just run, he can run into him and do a double leg takedown and force the action instead of trying to cross the distance without, he only can cross the distance with his hands and his feet. He cannot cross the distance with any elevation change, no shots, no nothing. He has to cross it with his hands with somebody who's longer and better than him. So that's why in kickboxing, it's 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 very hard to do it. It's it's you're basically just beating your your body up. He just another kick, another kick. Look, he's trying to get there, he can't get there. And he goes back to the edge of the void and he just gets his body tore up the whole entire time. Another body kick. Yep. And he gets there, so he said, and then I, I think he, he did a good job of coming back in front of him to keep him trapped. But, you know, like I said, see right there, they have to stop. They have to stop. If this is a real fight, off elevation, takedown, pass guard, submit, punch. It stops the it stops the evolution of a true fight, right? So that's one of the things I have a hard time with kickboxing. I was like, this guy just got fucking kicked in the arm like six times and he can't do nothing about it. <laughs> God damn. All right. Another kick to the arms. But see, that's the thing. Is that see sometimes when you Okay, so I'm gonna 
I'm going to tell you what I would love to see Kira does. Because what, what Taiwan Chi's doing, he's just blasting that body kick because he's longer. And like I said, the same thing with Islam Makachev versus uh, Alex Volkanovsky. Southpaw versus Orthodox, you can throw that body kick all day. It's free. You can, you can get away with it. What I would like to see uh, Kira do is Kira, he is a shorter fighter. Do not pursue the void. Don't come in there. You need to have better footwork and make Taiwan Chai come after you. Use your footwork. Use your feints. Make him second guess when he comes forward. Ma make him, because it's kickboxing. You can't, there's no reason for you to cross distance when he can just run the whole time. He's just going to run the whole time. Stop, body kick. Run the whole time, body kick. Jab, body kick. Body kick. That's why it's 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 very it's it's not it's frustrating for me to watch because the gentleman's like, okay i can't get to you okay i'm gonna use my footwork force you to come across the void force taiwan try to come across the void and then when he comes across the void then i'm gonna try to punish him and help him help let taiwan try help you close the distance instead of you trying to close the distance so what i mean by that is if taiwan Chai comes across distance and he comes across distance, now the void becomes here excuse me that's horrible the void becomes here, right? It, it, it becomes this void. But him keep it going across the void, trying to get to Taiwan Chai, and Taiwan Chai is just gonna run and use his footwork to negate and go lateral, and you know, it's even though it's four corners, and land the body kick, this guy's gonna get eat up all day. So that's why it's 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 almost like he's just it, it's just he's not thinking. He's just that's why I say kickboxing, you better hope you're tough because you can't get to that guy. You're stuck in that realm for nine minutes. All right, here we go. Continue. See, right. See. See, right there, this is where he needs to do. If you go back real quick, back real quick, okay? I think he could beat Taiwan Chai right here because look where Taiwan Chai, he's overextended. His arm is down. Arm is down, chin is exposed, arm is there. Granted, he's he's shorter. Now, if he got here and did some, you know, some head movement, head movement, he can get Ta he can get Taiwan Chai. But he has to make Taiwan Chai overextend. The way he does that is either don't cross the distance or back up and force Taiwan Chai to come across the distance. Then you will find the, the opportunity to capitalize on Taiwan Chai. But you trying to get Taiwan Chai as a shorter fighter in kickboxing not a good idea if this was mixed martial arts that's a perfect idea because you can come across this as he kicks i catch i take you down it's a different total game totally different game but as an mma athlete that's what i see when i fight when i see a guy who's longer who kicks very well and he's southpaw versus or orthodox you have to like hey i'm not gonna fight him like a kickboxer i'm gonna fight him like an mma guy i have to force taiwan chai to cross the distance so he can get that kick and when he throws that kick, I just back up. I just frustrate. You have to frustrate him. Sometimes you can't think with your mind. You have to You have to think with your mind. Excuse me. Think with your mind. Don't fight with your body because your body's going to give out on you, especially when you're just getting kicked the f to hell. So let me go back. Sorry, guys. This is this is me breaking down. This is when I see stuff. This is what I see. All right, here we go. He can win here. I feel he can win here, but he has to let go because it's kickboxing. Okay, watch. Look, he's... <laughs> He's still staying there, sitting at the edge of the distance. Don't come across it, because it ain't like Taiwan Chai's come across this mother. <laughs> Look, I didn't even have to watch this fight. I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. And he can time you when you're coming across the distance. That was better because he just walked across it. But they have to stop the fight. Another kick. Yeah, see, and he's doing the right thing. I mean, he's doing the right thing trying to get across the distance, but it's it's basically futile. It's only inevitability until he loses uh, because he just keeps on taking that shot. Like, stay here. If you guys are fighting somebody who's sm sh taller than you, stay here. This is the safest spot for you right here in kickboxing. Stay here, play lateral, make him second guess, make him throw shots, make him kick, check his kicks, make him, make it a boring fight. Make it a boring fight until he shows his card. But we've known 
he's not cross he's never coming in this distance whatsoever he's made that a, a he's made that very apparent okay so you have to think he's not going to come here and he knows when i come in here he's going to back up he's going to throw that body kick or he's going to punch okay we're not going to fight here we cannot fight in this area this this area is bad for us we're going to stay out here force taiwan try to come across the distance and make him second guess make him do something if the ref says chop i was like dude my arm's gonna f up what do you want me to do he keeps on running <laughs> like it's a very it's a very interesting like it's a bad matchup for him because he's so much shorter and his kickboxing mma i picked this guy all day all right here we go stays right there he's just staying at the edge of the void when somebody's taller than you see see he's coming across now he came across and look at the angle he had look at this angle right here look at the angle he had right here look at that angle he had because he came across right this is the first time he was very successful in his footwork and getting Taiwan Chai because Taiwan Chai came across he actually attacked he came across the void All right I'm gonna show you back it up so here's the void Time I try goes, he shows a fixed step, he comes across it. Guy backs out of the void. Time I try doesn't throw the full kick. He gets back in his balance. He's on one foot, comes forward. Okay, now the guy stopped there. The time I try throws another shot. This guy's not trying to cross the void. He's able to go lateral and move. Look what happens. Time I try misses that kick. Look at this angle right now. Look at this angle. Time I try is retreating. Because he overshot his shot. And now this guy, he's a shorter fighter, obviously. He can't get to Taiwan Chai. But this is a good step. This is a this is a W for him in this exchange. Look, he's in a better Taiwan Chai has nothing. Only thing Taiwan Chai can do, he can do his spinning, spinning back elbow or spinning <laughs> punch. But if this guy was more closer to him on his horse, that's a free shot for this guy. That's a beautiful right hand to Taiwan Chai because he let him cross the distance. He didn't cross the distance. All right, let's continue. But, but he stays, look, he stays right at the edge of the void and gets keep getting kicked. But see, this is where I think he could beat him. The hook landed, but they have to stop. But see, he can just move, he can just move, he can just move up the angle. And this is where it forces this is where it forces the shorter guy he has to keep eating that stuff he has to eat that all day long let me see it has to stop so that's why i think i feel like kickboxing if you're a kickboxer i mean you have ramon deckers who was really good but you look at ramon deckers when he was 40 years old i don't know he was in the right mental state of mind he was good about eating all the shots and come across and go two three two boom 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 lick it lick it but his mind wasn't there so like i said when you do kickboxing you got to be prepared to get fucked up <laughs> especially him being a shorter fighter See, another angle there he's got to stay on him look good job coming across that distance he moves but you show then you move to the angle then try to hit him another body kick Beautiful from uh, Taiwan Chai right there. That fake, fake, and it go to the angle was beautiful. See, now Taiwan Chai is starting to land with the hands, and it's giving the shorter guy, Kira, an opportunity to get closer to him. Another body kick. Another body kick. He just can't get there. Now let go. Like, and this is the so this is this is the game for the the taller fighter. Keep keep your opponent at the edge of the void. Keep throwing kicks and punches. When they get close, the ref's gonna stop us. And look, think about that. Okay, it's 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 a very futile game plan when it comes to kickboxing if you're shorter. My personal opinion. Okay, watch. Okay. 
See, he can. I feel he can beat Tyron Chai in a close distance, but there he's he can't do it, right? But so he spends all day trying to get to him, right? See, he can. See, you spent all day trying to get to him, right? He spends all day. He finally gets to him. Tyron Chai clinches me. I get broken up. I have to start all over again. So imagine a playing Super Ghosts and Ghouls. If you guys ever played that game before, it's one of the hardest games ever come out for Nintendo and Super Nintendo. When you get all the way to the last guy, if you die, you had to go all the way back to the very beginning again. That's what's happened to this gentleman. He gets all the way to Taiwan Chai. Watch. He's trying to get there. Here we go. Gets kicked. He's trying to get there. He's at the first level. All right. He's at the second level. Oh, no, he's back to the first level. Oh, his arm broke. He, the game broke. He can't even play. <laughs> so, but I, I want to go back real quick and show you guys what I mean by the shorter versus smaller guy. That, I mean, that's no surprise. The guy kept getting kicked over and over and over and over again because he's trying to get to Taiwan Chai. But let me see if they're going to show. Okay. Goes a body kick. Remember, there's nothing he can do. He either has to eat it or get the hell out. But he's going to force eating it because he's trying to get to him. Boom. Breaks his arm. That's game. Uh, this has happened before. That happens a lot in K1. And I remember it was Alistair Overeem versus another gentleman. Alistair Overeem ended up breaking the guy's arm because he just kept on kicking. So let's go back. Okay, what he has to say. Okay. This is what happens. This is the game. This is the first level. First level. Okay, this is where he misses. He gets the angle, right? First level. Okay, boom. He's there. He's there. He's ready to fight. He backs out. Okay, now he's there. Look, he's there, right? He's there. He's crossed the distance. He's crossed the distance. He's finally achieved his goal. He's gotten a Taiwan Chai. He has to start all over again. Look at that void against them. He has to he has to gather all that distance again. He's trying to get there again. But as he's trying to get there, he gets blasted with a leg kick over and over. I mean, the body uh, body kick. He's trying to get there. Trying to get there. He's there. He finally gets there again. Look what happens. He has to start all over again. That's why it's that's why for me when I watch kickboxing and you have uh, the 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 size difference I'm like the shorter guys unless he's ready to get his arms beat the f shit and he's got to go through all that distance to get there then when he finally gets there if he gets there and he's not putting the, the, the heat on homeboy and they're not clenching his angle and he's boom 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 and lighting him up be prepared to go all through that so it'll be an interesting fight between Taiwan Chai and versus Superbon, because Superbon is very good about the high kicks. That's the one thing I think separates Superbon from a lot of the athletes that I see do kickboxing or Muay Thai is his high kicks. I mean, he, Georgia Petrosian does a good job about moving off angles blah, 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 and getting an angle and dropping his right hand in there. So, boys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live.